Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Ames Grow and Get It. I'm Tom Allis, President of Growth, and I got the honor of having Phil Stevenson, broker owner of PS Mortgage Lending. Phil's a good supporter. The brokers are better community. He actually reached out to me and had a couple of things. Yeah, I like it. Way to represent today. Um, he had some good ideas on things that he's done, you know, not only in his career where he was doing only reverse mortgages up until, what's it, 2017, 2014? Yes. yes. Yeah. 2017. Uh, and now, you know, obviously doing forward mortgages, but we kind of touch base on some things of why public relations is important. Um, why don't you start us off there and tell us a little bit about, you know, as far as public relations, what, what does that mean or how can people utilize that to go out and grow their business? So it, it was kind of, I kind of stumbled upon it. It was like, let me take a shot in the dark. Um, and so, as you said, I was doing only reverse mortgages from 2011 to 2017. I've been in the business since 2005. First reverse mortgage I did was for my grandparents in 2008. And so in 2015, there was a huge change going on uh, for those that have originated reverse. No, now you have to look at credit and income. Before that, you didn't have to. Uh, it was just you're 62 and over. You have enough equity. You're good. So I had the idea. I said, let me um, hire this public relations firm for an entire month. Um, again, it was a shot in the dark. It was kind of expensive, $5,000 to hire them for a month. I wrote an article. And they put it out there on all the different avenues to see what would happen. And it was about this change, you know, reverse mortgage about to go through a huge change. And, and I get picked up for multiple interviews. And one of them was with Next Avenue. Um, and it was crazy because I, I'm just like, whatever, I'll do this interview with this guy. And next thing I know, a public relations firm is calling me. They said, you're on Forbes. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, so Next Avenue is uh, an independent company, but what they write for seniors and retirement gets placed on Forbes. So, so you've got a lot of exposure. You, you hired a company to be able to help publish a, you know, a news piece or an article based on current times of things that are going on. So um, obviously you get the notoriety of this. You start to get a lot more hits on your own personal information, your company, you get some notoriety. Um, how have you continued to leverage PR then moving forward to grow to grow your business? So I did it again. Um, when there was another change, your reverse mortgages are now getting harder and, and stuff like that. And then Next Avenue picked it up again, got on Forbes a second time. And then I told the guy, I said, listen, man, anything you need, you, you need me for to be an expert. Um, and that's how I'm listed on these articles. I'm interviewed as the reverse mortgage expert. Um, and so I came out three times between 2015 and 2017. I haven't done anything since, um, but I, I've thought about it, especially as things progress in the market the way they are now. Um, but now, since then, and I, I really only learned this, I'm going through a rebrand and the company I'm using to rebrand, uh, she made an advertisement for me at a local chamber and she put the Forbes logo on there. I said, am I allowed to do that? I mean, I was just, you know, just came out in the article. She says, oh yeah, for the rest of your life, that's it. You've been interviewed and quoted in Forbes. Now, everywhere I go, every advertisement I do, I can have Forbes on there. Yeah. So, I mean, that's huge. That's, that could help you in so many ways. When you just talk to clients that are considering, do I use this guy or do I use that big lender? Say, listen, uh, the, the person you're talking to is in a call center and I've come out in Forbes three times as a mortgage expert. You can Google it, Phil Stevenson Mortgage Forbes, and you'll see it come up. Uh, can the other person say the same? You know, no, that, no, that's, that's a quote, right? yeah. That's so. So if you were looking, I know for for us on the AIM side of things, we have some amazing, I'll just say, creators for content that you know you'll see us all the time. Where AIM's pushing out messaging with Housing Wire or different magazines for you to be able to. I want to say for you, a new originator right now that maybe wants to try to take that step on. How do they get into the public relations side, like to foster public relations in their business? What is the key or tip for them to be able to even start? What would you suggest? Um, there are ways of doing it without hiring a firm and spending the money I did uh, where you can get on those different, um, what's it called, like the, the press wires and stuff. Yeah. And so, yeah, you could write articles uh, and, you know, about whatever's going on. Say, you know, is this crash really coming? Um, you know, and try to put that out there. Maybe you'll get picked up in the local markets. 
uh, you know, but there's a lot, I think, that all of us collectively, if everybody thought, what could I do in this sense? What could I write? What could I put out there that's educating? Because we know how much misinformation there is about there about we're crashing, even though there's no supply. Yes. Um, you know, I think that if everybody did a little bit on this, it could help all of us as a whole. You know, the tide raises all boats. Um, and individually, someone might get picked up as an expert and, and start getting articles written with them. And you create a relationship with some of these reporters. Uh, and, you know, I, I think it's worth a shot, even if you're not hiring a public relations firm to do it for you. Yeah, that's really smart. I got to tell you, Phil, you know, for me personally, I just became and it's like a lot of the things that you're saying, I'll say I stumbled upon it, but there's a local magazine for me and I live in Minnesota. So it's called, it's like called the Chan Hassan. You got the snow uh, in the background magazine. already. It's a city like city based magazine. But then they said, hey, are you we have, you know, you put an ad or if you want to be our expert, we have an opportunity for you to be the expert, but you have to supply this written content. And I've done it. And now it's like the same thing. I'm starting to have people reach out to me, even like you mentioned, let's talk about things from our perspective. You know, why is more, why are mortgage brokers growing at such a rapid pace? All of this information, we know it a lot collectively within our industry, but there isn't enough information out there to where AIM does an amazing job pushing this out from an association standpoint, but as individual mortgage brokers as broker owners we can get out into our communities and be that that expert to where they start to leverage you whether it's news whether it's the local um print ads you know whatever it is it's really cool to see how that's worked for you i googled your name when you told me that i looked it up i'm like oh yeah this this makes perfect sense and it does differentiate you for being an independent mortgage expert than just some other guy that's calling in from a call center. So you're hundred percent correct. And, you know, Phil really appreciate you being here and sharing us with uh, sharing with us in the community, kind of this nugget that I think a lot of us can take. If anyone has any further questions on this, don't hesitate to reach out to Phil or myself. We'll have an episode every week here at noon Eastern time on Mondays, or you can check out our past episodes on our YouTube page at AIM national. I uh, really appreciate everyone. Hope everyone had a great time that attended Fuse. Phil, thank you for reaching out, brother. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Awesome. Thank you.